How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe, and today's video we're going to be going over 10 really cool computer accessories and tech gadgets, whether they're going to be for yourself or as a good gift. All of these are under $50, very affordable. As a matter of fact, they're well under $50. Only a couple of them are even over 20, so this should be really cool. And obviously, you don't have to get the exact ones I mentioned in this video. I will have examples, of course, though, and I'll put the links to those specific ones in the description if you wanna check them out on Amazon. So starting off with number one, we have this dual hard drive dock. Specifically, this is the Sabrent brand. It's USB 3.0, it holds two drives, and can fit both 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch drives. And this one does cost about 35 bucks, but it is the most expensive thing on the list, which is not even that bad. And these things are really useful for a number of reasons. Maybe you have some old hard drives laying around, you wanna access data on them, or maybe you just wanna make a quick backup and you just have the bare hard drive, not in an enclosure, or maybe you want to upgrade your hard drive to an SSD or just a bigger drive. And this actual specific one has a clone feature where you can put one drive in one side and another in the other side and then actually use this clone button and it will copy one to the other. Just make sure you obviously read the directions and make certain you follow them and put the correct drive in the correct slot or else you'll be cloning the blank one onto the uh, other one, but I'm sure you can figure that one out. And you can also, of course, use this to just use your own cloning software, like Clonezilla is a free one I've used in the past. So this is obviously really useful in a lot of situations, like if you were wanting to upgrade from a hard drive to an SSD, but you didn't know how to clone the drive, well, now you can just do it completely automatically. Really cool feature. All right, next up, the second idea is a very long USB charging cable. This one in particular is the Anker, or maybe it's Anker, Powerline Plus 2. It's 10 feet, and this one is a USB-A to Lightning, but of course, you can get several other options for your phone, maybe it's USB-C or whatever. And this one costs about 17 bucks. I think we've all been in a situation where the phone charger in the outlet is just too far away from where you wanna sit down, so you either have to just put it down or wait or sit near the wall, whatever, but this way you can just extend it to wherever you're actually wanting to sit. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the longer the cable, typically the more resistance to electricity, so it might charge slower, especially if you're using like a dinky little five watt. So I would probably recommend using a faster charger with one of these, like just Qualcomm quick charge or one of the higher wattage Apple chargers if you're on an iPhone. So that way you can be sure you're actually getting the full charging speed you normally would. And also I wouldn't use any cable that's longer than necessary. If you're just using this with your phone where the charger is right next to you at your desk, don't be using a 10 foot cable. It's completely unnecessary and it might slow down the charging a little bit, but you're kind of trading convenience with potential speed loss here. So it probably won't charge much slower, but you'll just have to test that out yourself. Again, just using a fast charger will mitigate that. All right, the next accessory for number three is a dual car phone charger. So this is another Anchor product I have here for an example. This is the Anchor Power Drive Speed 2. This one costs about 18 bucks. And this is a little bit faster. I think this is a 30 watt charger, but they have slightly slower ones. This one also does a quick charge. So if you're on an Android, and the reason you might want one of these is probably pretty obvious. If you've ever been in a car when someone needs to use the charger, well, now you can have two chargers and both people can charge their phones at the same time. No fighting over it and deciding who has the lower battery and deserves to have the charger. You can just use both. And this one seems to be pretty good construction. The prices on these things vary. You can get cheaper ones. They're like less than $10, but I would rather probably spend a little bit extra and get one that feels decent, which this one does, it's got a nice weight to it, so you can decide for yourself on that one. All right, up next, we have a phone lens kit, so extra lenses you clip on your phone. This one in particular is the Leknez brand, but there's a lot on Amazon, different types. This one's about 15 bucks. It comes with three different lenses, so it comes with a fisheye lens for super wide angle, it comes with a regular wider angle, and also a macro lens, so you can take pictures of things very up close. And then it also comes with a little clip, you screw the lens onto it that you wanna use, and then clip it onto the back of your phone over the camera lens. And like I said, for 15 bucks, I was not expecting much, but these actually seem to be pretty well built. They feel a little bit heavier than I was expecting, so good weight to them. I think it's actual glass in there, it's metal construction, so I was kind of expecting just like acrylic plastic lenses, but it's not like that at all. I would say in most cases, the wide angle lens is probably the one most people will use, because the fisheye one, you know, it's cool maybe as a gimmick, but it'll probably get old really fast. Whereas the wide angle one might actually be really useful if you're trying to take a wide angle landscape or just your surroundings. But the macro lens can be good too, because this one actually works surprisingly well and you can get really, really close to stuff, almost like a magnifying glass practically. And it's really sharp, so I like this one for maybe if you wanna take 
close-ups of whatever. Now, when you use the wide angle, obviously the center is gonna be the most sharp and it does get very, very soft on the edges. So you probably don't wanna use it unless you have to. And if you already have like an iPhone 11 Pro like me, where you already have a wide angle lens, this would be pretty redundant. And the one built into the phone is obviously gonna perform a lot better. But if you don't have one of the new iPhones that has a wide angle, then this could really come in handy. Or if you even want, you can get some other uh, versions of different kits on Amazon. They're a little bit more expensive, but other ones that include even zoom lenses. So even though your phone has a zoom on it, well, you could add maybe another zoom on top of that if you wanna get really crazy. Regardless though, for 15 bucks, I think it's a pretty good deal. You probably can get a good amount of use out of them depending on the situation. All right, moving on to number five, we have a dual headphone jack slash charger splitter. So ever since phone manufacturers started taking out the headphone jack, obviously you still can use an adapter, but the problem arises, maybe you're on a plane or some other long trip where you wanna be able to charge your phone and use headphones plugged in at the same time, but you can't because there's no extra headphone jack. Whereas something like this, this one in particular is the Belkin Charge Rockstar. It's a little bit more expensive than you might think. It's $30, but from what I've seen on like Amazon, a lot of sites, these things are kind of hit or miss. The cheap ones have really bad reviews and even the really expensive one like this, which is $30 again, it does not have great reviews either. And this is the, even the one that is listed on Apple's website as like the pseudo official one. Apple doesn't make one officially themselves, but they sell this one on their actual site. So my point is definitely do your homework when looking at these because even this one, which is probably the best you can get is not that great, but it's probably your best chance. But of course it's gonna very much depend on the type of connector you're using. For example, this one's obviously for lightning for Apple and this has a lightning and then 3.5 millimeter female jack on the end of it to split, but they also make a version that just splits one lightning to two. And then of course you can get one that's USB-C by other manufacturers that splits from one USB-C to another and 3.5 or one USB-C to two USB-C. I mean, there's every possible combination. And I know I'm not exactly making this sound very appealing, but I have used this. I haven't really had any problems. So you can just do your homework again and find one that seems to work well, and it'll still be very useful if you need it. All right, up next, we have a headphone stand. This one in particular is the New B brand, and it's only $10. There's a lot of generic ones on Amazon for very cheap. I mean, there's not much to it, but this one seems to be pretty good quality for the money. It's just a aluminum middle piece, so it's metal, and then the top and bottom are ABS plastic, so it seems to be good quality plastic. This one's flexible for putting this, the headphone on. It's not gonna break or anything. I probably don't have to explain this too much. It's just a headphone stand. What more can you say about it? But there are a couple options for colors for this one. There's either black or white. And I do also like how it has like rubber grips on the bottom so it's not gonna slide around. So if you do have headphones, then it might be worth just paying 10 bucks. I think there's also like under desk versions that you can get that are probably a little bit more expensive. But regardless, a headphone stand of any kind might be a good idea for an accessory. All right, up next, this one's really cool and you might never have heard of it before, and it is a mouse bungee. Now, when I first heard of this and saw it, I'm like, what the heck is this for? But basically, it's for if you're gaming or just using a mouse in general that tends to snag on the whatever you have on your desk. Basically, you put the cable of the mouse up here and give it some slack so that when you're moving your mouse around, your mouse pad, the idea is because it's kind of suspended in the air, there's a lot less resistance on from the mouse cable. So if you're gaming, you're doing, I don't know, flick shots or whatever, then you don't have to worry about the mouse uh, cord catching on the monitor stand or providing extra resistance or something like that. It just kind of suspends. And there's a few options for these. This is the BenQ Zowie. Kamade, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This one was $25, but there's other options from like Razer has one that's $20. Both of these have really great reviews. And this one, I kind of like how it, it actually uh, extends a little bit so you can slide it up and down. Although I do believe it's recommended that you use it in the most extended position. And it's also sort of spring loaded, you can see. So if you pull too far on it, it'll still give way. It's not gonna stop you from moving the mouse or anything. And it probably does take a little bit to get enough slack where it's the perfect amount, where it's not too much, too little. So this one might seem very unnecessary to some people, but I don't know, if you do a lot of gaming and you notice your mouse now starting to catch and provide resistance, then I don't know, you might think this is a good idea and get one. All right, the next one you probably will like are floppy disk coasters. These are actually made of silicone rubber. They're not real floppy disks, obviously. And I got these as a gift, so I'm not exactly sure what brand these are. But one example is the 90s Nerd 
brand, so it's about $14, though there's plenty of them on Amazon at pretty similar price, usually from like $5 to $15. And there's other actual styles. You can get like vinyl coasters for like, they look like records. You can get ones that are like uh, NES cartridges. And obviously if you're not using any kind of coasters, this is the perfect opportunity so you don't get rings on your mouse pad or your desk or whatever. I don't think I have to explain why you would use a coaster, but if you haven't gotten any, then this could be a good option. All right, so we still got a couple more. And the next one is so useful. I can't believe I didn't get this before. And it is a webcam cover. So this one in particular is the brand Hoyen. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's $9. And obviously the type and what it looks like is gonna depend on your webcam. This one is specifically for Logitech C922, C920 type webcams, which are the most popular. You probably have one of those. And it literally just, snaps on the front of it and then flips up when you want to use the webcam you flip it down when you're done and i just love this thing me being security paranoid i basically before would just keep my webcam literally unplugged when i wasn't using it but now i can just flip it up when i want to use it not have to worry about unplugging the usb cable every single time i've also seen another style of these which is looks like a sliding door type one so that might also fit on your webcam if it's not a c920 or i guess you theoretically could use that on like a laptop but I probably would not recommend or at least be careful when getting those because if you close the screen and there's a new thing sticking out of it, it might damage the screen. So I would probably get one that's specifically de designed for your webcam or if you don't use the one on your laptop a, a lot, maybe just get like a sticky note and cover it up that way. But if you do have one that will fit a cover like this, then this is definitely a great $10 spend. All right, finally, number 10. This one is great and just so basic, and it is a USB extension cable. Depending on the type you're gonna get, whether it's USB 2.0 or 3.0, they usually cost between five to $10. This one I have here is the Amazon Basics three meter, so almost 10 feet, and it was like, just over five dollars and actually the one meter version which is like three feet was also about the same price and that's for the usb 2.0 version keep in mind but they also sell a usb 3.0 version which is not even that much more expensive for both of them it's like a dollar more each so maybe you just want to get the uh, amazon basics 3.0 extension it's literally just a usb type a input female and then output Mail. So if you've ever tried to plug something in, whether it's a scanner, printer, whatever, and it didn't have enough reach for the cable, well, now you can get an extension and it'll fit. One thing to keep in mind though, kind of like I mentioned before, don't use one that is super unnecessarily long. Just use as long as you need to get it to where it goes. Because again, you might get voltage and speed drop offs the longer the cable is. So certain devices like a webcam or maybe a scanner that actually uses a lot of bandwidth over the USB connection, if you use an extension and that like reduces the speed significantly, then that device might start to misbehave. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, that was number 10. If you guys wanna actually keep watching, you can watch my previous video with 10 more tech gadgets from last month. I'll just put the link popping up. And again, if you guys wanna check the products that I mentioned on this video, you can look at the description and those links will be down on Amazon. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.